Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Newbie. My name's Jenna and we're at my allotment plot in Doncaster. So uh, this is the next video for you, which is a week apart, but I'm only back very next day from the last one. It's Bank Holiday Monday and we've got a few jobs that I want to get done before I go on my travels. Um, I've just had a quick look around the plot. The peas have survived the night. The tomato plants have survived the night. Um, Everything else looks okay oh. than that. I think it's time to crack on. Let's go. Hey, my peeps. I know that was sad, but anyway. So I'm in the fruit cage and I've just noticed something on my garlic that's growing, the supermarket garlic that I planted. So I'll try, oh, <laughs> why is it? I always nearly fall over when I bend down. I'll try and show you. So, oh, I don't know if you're gonna see it. So on this one in particular, see how thin these are? There's loads of these coming through. <laughs> instead of you know thicker leaves like this so as it's my first time growing garlic i didn't know what this meant i was like oh my gosh what's this so i've just looked it up and it means that the garlic bulb is actually splitting under the ground so it will form a proper bulb with cloves in how amazing is that i mean you know you learn something new every day that's great news so we'll be harvesting soon probably next month yay right then so i'm at my compost bin at the moment First time using it, knowing damn well there's a huge spider in it. I mean, you heard me swear in one of my videos when I spotted it. It was huge. Anyway, so we're going to put our first bits and pieces in here. So my dad brought me some leaves from where he is. He's got there's several trees and it's just huge piles of leaves, which we know is massively beneficial for compost, for the earth, everything. Leaf mould, great stuff. Love it. Don't smell nice, but love it. Um, so we've got cardboard up bottom. I know now why these don't have bottoms. It's so they can touch the ground and the wormy worm worms can come up and help it. Well, I'll sort that at some point, she says. So I'm gonna start putting some bits in. Um, I'm gonna put, I brought some extra cardboard, some packing paper, which is just, it's just brown, a bit like cardboard, just but paper version. Um, I've got some, uh, like veg and salad trimmings and bits, you know, peelings and things like that. And then like I say, the leaves, which we'll put on top of that. So I'm going to attempt to get this lid off without screaming or swearing. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, I can't even move the camera now. Let's get you a bit lower so you can see. Like I say, preferably not hear me scream or shout. I don't even know. I can't remember if it screws off or if it just, oop, just pops off. <coughs> Shuffling that, whoa! <laughs> spider, spider, spider. Just gonna get a, an old cane and get rid of that cobweb. Oh, oh, I can see spiders. This is not fun in the slightest. That's just freaking rank. <laughs> So we need to get some cardboard in. Um, what I've brought has got cell tape and stuff on, so we need to take that off. That shouldn't take me too long. So a while ago, I was telling you about cardboard and what you can use. So this is fine with the bit of black print on it. You need to make sure any cell tapes off, staples, sometimes they staple the boxes, um, as much of this as you can get off, you know, labels and things. Um, but in terms of, uh, any other cardboard, nothing highly glossed, printed on, you know what I mean. Um, I'm just going to just have a look. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Get this torn up into smaller bits. Gugh. Um, so yeah, just stuff like that really. I think it's just meant to be kinder to the environment for the composting reasons because on the highly glossed uh, cardboard it's a lot of ink and I'm assuming that's harmful for for the earth and stuff. I mean I don't know myself if that's right. I, it's just what I've learnt um, from other people on other, on other forums and things. But it's fun to tear things up though as well. <laughs> right, I'll keep going and I'll uh, oh, find muscles from somewhere, I suppose. Right, so that's, she's saying, come on. <laughs> so 
Let's go search. There we go. This is the packing paper that I've got. Like I say, it's, there's nothing on it whatsoever. It was like on a roll. There was a little bit of printing on it, tiny, tiny bit. Um, it was on a roll, look, because it's perforated. So that can go in. Let me have a look what it looks like in there without looking at any spiders. All right, okay. Pull some of these leaves in. So these are already starting to break down and stuff. Whoop. Right, so pull some of them in. Oh, I feel like a, I feel like I'm making a concoction. And then I brought some of my, oh, veggie peelings and stuff. So we'll get them out. Start putting them in. A bit mingy in this bag, so I'm just going to tip it all in. So what I'll do now is I'll put the rest of the leaves, leaves in. And we'll put them put the last bit of cardboard on. So I've already got a blooming two slugs on bottom of this already. It's only been here overnight. Dad brought it yesterday. Gross. Gross Amundo. Right, so you know what? You've, you've stayed with me so far. We'll keep going. It's one last piece of cardboard. Just got to pull apart. And then saw tape. No, just one label. Let's see if I can get it off. So the reason behind what I've done today, it might not make 100% sense to those that know what they're doing making compost, but the cardboard and the paper, oh, come on, is what would be classed as brown composting items. And then you get your green composting items. So, for example, like green is the obvious what you'd expect it to be, which is your peelings and stuff like that. And brown, I have got a list somewhere. Um, but if I remember rightly, it's things like cardboard, paper. Um, I don't know if eggshells is classed as green or brown, but you can put them in as well. Uh, nutshells you can chuck in I think that's brown I'm not sure uh, but there's other bits of pieces you can actually google this um, and it'll give you a list of different things you can use for your compost bin so um, so yeah uh, that's now all in I'm going to show you if I've got to look at how gross it is so view although you can't see a great deal but we'll have a look there look how exciting was that? <laughs> right, come on, let's go get some proper work done. I'm doing. Um, so I pre-dug this over yesterday and you've just seen me rake it and go over it with the um, the hand fork very quickly. I am not joking you right, I've said this before, you find some right crap in the soil, you know when you first dig over an area you've not done before and I, f I feel like there must have been a structure of some sort here in the past because I found, let me just count them up, 21, see if you can see them. and they are very, very old. So they must have been in there forever. I think I can see another one in the soil, actually. So what we're gonna do here is um, something that Mr. G advised me to try. I wasn't gonna try until next year, but I thought, you know what? I don't know what I want to plant here, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Now, uh, parsnips and anything onion-based grow well together. Now, as you know, parsnips, oh, I want to stand up, my back's hurting already. Parsnips are a root veg. So go down into the earth, nice and long, hopefully. Uh, similar with leeks, they like to be in, you know, in a space they can grow nice and straight. So Mr. G gave me a tool 
which I'm gonna show you. It's basically a, um, like a spade handle or something. So it's got nothing on the end, look. And what you do is, or his advice to me was, when pan planting parsnips, use this to make a, a hole in the ground, X amount down, fill it with compost till there's about two inches left, put your seed in, cover, well, water it, put your, put your seed in, water it, <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute, uh, and then top it up with compost. And that should be really good structure for that particular seed to grow in. So we're gonna give it a try. A row parsnips, row of leeks, row of parsnips, row of leeks. That's the plan. So I'm going to make the holes now in the ground and then I'll show you what I've done and then we'll crack on and get that done. And fingers crossed by the time, sorry, said it already. <laughs> so by the time I come back from my holiday, hopefully something will start growing. It could take a little bit longer for the parsnips. They can take several weeks to uh, germinate. So anyway, we'll, we'll get that done and then I'll show you what the plan of action is. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you the holes that I've made. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six rows, which I didn't think I'd get in. Um, so three of each, parsnip and leek. So we'll give it a try. Um, even if the leeks don't do very well, it's great to have near the parsnips anyway. So I'll give you a quick look. So as you can see, these are probably the straightest lines I've ever created. <laughs> so like I say, we're gonna fill it with compost, nail it to the top, put the seed in, water it, cover it with more compost, and that's it. <sighs> I tell you what, it's another hot day. 14 degrees apparently at the minute, but then 14 degrees plus fat person digging and sewing and stuff. Sweaty mess, sweaty mess people. Uh, so I have finished the uh, parsnip and leek planting, sewing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just looks like a patchy piece of earth at the minute. <laughs> so don't forget, I've got the rest of this week at work. <laughs> Two weeks on holiday so by the time i come back i might be lucky enough to see something sprouting out uh, i need to get it protected from the slugs i have no idea what else to protect it with because i haven't got anything else i've got fleece but i don't think that's really appropriate for this time of year uh, or net but i've got no to put that on because i've already used my other four posts so we'll just have to keep an eye on it <laughs> Um, I can always try and think of something. If I can get some bricks, I could do it slightly raised, ready for when the, they pop out the soil. So we'll give that a go a bit later. We've got some carrots to sow and the courgettes need reseeding because not one of them came through out of all six. How crazy is that? But you know, I got my seeds. <laughs> right, I'll quickly show you this and then we'll crack on for the next job. So as you can see, it's um, like I say patchy because you can see the normal earth along with the compost on top. So we've filled up the holes put the seeds and give it a really good water covered with compost and then they're uh, ready to go so we'll see how that goes in the next few weeks we'll try and get it covered somehow uh, to protect them okay next job peoples Ooh. right then guys um we're in a bit of a tight squeeze at the moment <laughs> we're at the path where we made the border um not quite wide enough for me to look forward, so I'm going to go sideways because I don't think about anything like that, to be honest with you, do I? So <laughs> so we're going to plant out my runner beans, which are, are down there. Um, that's the last thing I've brought from home that needs to go out before I go, I go away. I'm going to plant them down here. Um, I did put some of those flower bulbs down here that I'd spare. They've grown, but... I don't think they're going to flower. Most of them have been eaten to some degree. So we'll just leave them to do what they want to do, uh, which is pretty much what's happened with all of them that I planted, to be honest. So I'm going to pop me down and you can watch me plant these bad boys. Um, and then we just need to pray to the allotment gods that uh, they do okay. Um, I've got eight altogether because one didn't come through. So I chucked yet another cucumber plant uh, seed in there. So we've got another cucumber to take home. So let's get on with it, shall we? See if I can pop you down. There we go. I think you can see it looks okay to me. So just give it a bit of a dig over. I don't know if you can see. So here, oh no, you can't quite see. That's one of the plants. And then there's like some down here as well. Um, 
I'll just tip, tip you slightly so you can maybe see it. There, look. So it's grown, but not flowered, unfortunately. It may do later on. I don't know. So let's give this a dig over again. We gave it a quick dig over the other week, if you remember, when I dropped my spade. Filling yourself in when I dig the hole, man. <sighs> there we go. Let's get the first one out. I've started to lean a bit because on my um, when I was crossing the main road this morning, a van came streaking past me. It must have been, you know, faster than the speed limit, and they went flying. Not like out my hand or anything, but like they nearly got blown over. mucky hand there you go that's our first one in got some baby leaves just coming through here i don't think they're far off from wanting to start producing flowers they're still very young though obviously there we go i'll put you that way and you can lean against the fence we give these a blooming good water as well once we're done because they need it i didn't get a chance to do it well I didn't want to do it this morning, so it would be easier to take them out of the little cells when I got here. You know, I tell you what, you know, I'm, I'm moaning about be back and stuff like that. Excuse me. Um, yeah, you know, most allotments are filled with the older generation. I don't know how they do it. I really don't. <laughs> They've got the strength of 21 year olds. It's crazy. I know I've only just started and I don't know how long they've been doing it for, but blooming neck, they must have backs of steel. <laughs> Come on, don't get tangled now. Not now I've grabbed you. Seriously. There you go. There you are, look. Start growing up there. This is what this wall was made for, man. Oh, there's a right worm under here. It's huge. Come here. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Far from it. I'm going in my compost bin. If it don't drop you first, because you're trying to escape. There we go. <laughs> Freaking hell. Nearly fell on top of all my potatoes. That would have been interesting, to say the least. <sighs> Get away now. Right, let's get the next couple in. Where are you at? Hey, okay. you got a weepy leaf. Do you need a drink, my lovely? You need a drink. I'll sort that in a minute. Okay, get the big one out next. Oh, one of them snapped. Oh dear, might not be able to plant that one. I can't tell where it's snapped from. We'll have a look. Oh, it established the damage of this plant. We'll plant it. We'll see what happens. I don't think it'll grow, but there's no point just leaving it, is there? Right, let's move down. Good roots, so you never know how it might react. I think my gardening gloves trying to tell me something. <laughs> oh, it looks pathetic already, bless it. So my beautiful runner bean plants are now in, with a poorly one on the end. 
Oh, but yeah, it's looking good. I'll give you a quick nosy. There you go. Runner beans, baby. Oh, I hope these grow well. My son absolutely loves runner beans. So do I. Yum. Right, so there's something I wanted to get done today very quickly. Um, because, well, you'll know, I understand why I'm going to say this. So I actually want to plant some flowers in the flower bed. <laughs> We've got a gooseberry bush, a potato. We've got the odd flower growing. I'm just not sure which ones they are and which ones are weeds. So I'm going to show you the bulbs I'm going to plant and tell you what they are. Because every time I tell you I'm planting bulbs and don't tell you what they are, they don't work. I'm saying that the last ones, they started to grow but kept getting munched. So I don't think they'll grow this year. Unfortunate. So I'll very quickly show you then. I'll spin you around. So I've taken the netting off so I can show you this. It's actually strangling my arm at the moment. So there's three bulbs. These three are already sprouting, so I'll put these ones in. Let's take you out a minute. And it is. Oh. There you go. Gladiolus. That's what they should look like. So I'm hoping these will grow or will have started growing by the time I get home. I'm going to put them in and in between them I'm going to put some of the leftover marigolds. I'll show you when I'm done. Oh, right then gang. So those bulbs have been planted with the marigolds. I also, where the pumpkin is, just on the outside, I'm putting, I put another three bulbs because they grow quite tall. So if they grow nice and tall, behind that is going to be the sweet corn. So it's not going to, they're not going to annoy each other so to speak but I have got six marigolds left so I'm just going to plant them either side of the peas just to use them up because otherwise they're going to get wasted which would be a shame so I'm going to do that now I'll show you when I'm done I what that was um and then one more job it's supposed to be two but I don't know how much I, more I can do I'm absolutely melting dripping with sweat right now it is disgusting so I'll do this, figure out if I'm going to do it. the other two jobs. If I am, I'll let you know. <laughs> right, let's get these last few plants done. Right, so all the marigolds are out. Those other bulbs are out. Ooh. <laughs> and I do have some more bulbs when I can find them. Where have they gone? Two seconds, guys. Tyridia? Tigridia? I probably just completely butchered how to say that. But I've no room in the flower at the minute because there's supposed to be the flowers growing, which I need to check once I get back. So in between our raspberry cane that we've got there that a neighbour gave us yesterday, which was very, very kind, and the tomato plants. Oh, honestly, I can't hold the phone still today. So in between there is where I'm going to put these bulbs. So let's crack on it. Oh. My stand's just broken. Oh dear, I'll have to get another one. Another little job done. So we're just over at the carrot patch next to the onions. We do have some carrots coming up on one side but the other side um no dice so i'm just going to plant a couple just to see if they come up while i'm on holiday i'm going to do a little patch of them because i'm not bending over right to reach right over or anything um, my tripod's broken so i'm i'm struggling to be able to show you things so unfortunately me being me i forgot to hit record <laughs> so what i've done is i've sprinkled a load of carrot seeds on a tilled over bed and then I put some compost over the top, give it a good water. Um, so hopefully we'll see some growth from that when I get back. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this little patch. I've thrown two different types of carrot seeds and just open for best, as always. <laughs> So guys, that little video I've just shown you there is just how how the allotment is really coming on. Everything's looking, is it just looking great? Things just look like they're growing. That sounds stupid, doesn't it? 
but it's just nice to see things done even if like with the parsnips and the leeks today I've not see that for ages yet but i know it's there and i know i not know but we'll in that it's going to grow <laughs> um i'm just i'm just in awe I know a lot of it's my own work. My dad has helped as well. And it, my neighbours last year, when it came to sorting this side out, they helped me as well. But things just look great now. And I'm so happy that when I go away next weekend, it's going to be okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm really chuffed. I'm really proud of myself. I choked up a little bit, actually. It's just a lot of work that's starting to pay off and I'm really proud. I expect you all to keep these crossed, to keep praying to whichever God is the right one, preferably the allotment God, that when I come back, you guys, and I've got spider on my glasses. Oh, <laughs> just scared me to death. But everything's growing when I come back. Is it gone? Oh dear. The bugs are incredible today. Honestly. Oh no, it's still there. I'll <laughs> sort the glasses out in a minute. Anyway, she says not being able to see anything. Um, thank you for joining me today. As always, it's a pleasure. And thank you so much for the support. We're over 100 subscribers, which I'm blown away with. I am, honestly. I know I have no dreams of grandeur that this channel will be in the thousands for you know subscribers and views and things. But those of you that you know that are subscribing and do watch every week, thank you. Thank you so much. It is just brilliant. You're the reason why I do these videos. So thanks again. So I'm going to get off. I'm going to finish packing my suitcase. <laughs> um, so yeah, good times ahead. <laughs> so I will see you later from me, allotment newbie. I say goodbye. See ya.